Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at the image view control. So I did a bit of searching on the internet and I found this beautiful um, CGI picture which is a creation by various artists from the povray.org um, site of a painting by Capriccio, I think you say, I don't know how you pronounce that, Capriccio, Capriccio. And um, so I'm going to use that um, just as a um, an image in my Android application for the moment. Uh, so um, in um, if you go to Google and you search for um, Android uh, something like screen support uh, support something like that and look at support multiple screens. Um, then you can find somewhere in here. Here we go. There's there's a there's a guide to the different screen sizes um, that you can use. And um, really, um, you should probably, if you want to support all of these different screen sizes, you should probably provide images um, in all of these different sizes. And for the moment, um, what I'm going to do is I've just in GIMP this free. Um, photo editor I have just uh, resized my image to 960 by 720 the biggest size and I'm going to just work with that for the moment so um, if I could bring up my um, GIMP here here we go I'm going to save this uh, as a PNG and I'm going to save it in my note squirrel resources drawable hyphen extra high density pixel folder and I need to give it a name let's call it um, something like image underscore default dot png and save that there and I'll go back to um, my Eclipse now and right click the res folder and go to refresh and my um, now in the X HDI, there's my image default. And uh, also, if I look at, if I make sure everything's saved and go to R.Java, I should have here with a bit of luck a um, uh, a ID for the image, which should be here. We go under drawable. We've got image underscore default. Okay, so I've got all that working, and I'm going to go to um, my the layout now of my new uh, my new application. My new, sorry, my new activity. Um, so I've got this um, activity image layout here, which looks like that, and I'm just going to click on this tab, and I'm going to change this a bit. So I'm going to have a linear layout again, as we've um, seen before, linear layout. And I'm going to make sure that that's set to match parent to take up the whole screen. And I'm going to get rid of text view here. And I'm going to have an image view here. So I'll type image v control space. And this, this has some attributes. And for one thing, I need to give it an ID. So let's give it a ID. And I'm defining the ID, ID here. So I need the plus sign there. And I'll call it um, uh, touch image or something like that that'll do and let's give it a layout width of match parent and a layout height of match parent and I'll give it a source src control space and I need to I do control space inside these quotes and I can go to drawable here at whoops and position the cursor back there and now I can select my image default like that and uh, let's just have a look at this and yeah a content description I could say just to shut shut up the warning there content description equals um, in fact uh, I'll call this uh, default I won't call it default image I'll call it um, touch um, touch let's call it password image or something like that I don't know it doesn't matter okay so that'll do 
and um, oh yeah and I've also I need to put this in a string resource if I'm going to use it so let's just select that and go to quick fix and um, extract string and password image is a fine ID for it and hopefully let's see has it stopped complaining it um, will have let's go to project clean to rebuild the project and there we go now we've got uh, an image view that's got no warnings on it which is nice and um, we should be able to actually see this so if I just click run here and um, another thing that I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go to my android.manifest here and I'm going to look for this activity it's this um, image activity here and I'm going to add a screen orientation here and set that to portrait and that will prevent um, it will mean that when their user turns their phone around um, it won't put my application in landscape mode and that's what I want because uh, for reasons that you're, you're going to see um, this would be awfully complicated if it can be used in landscape mode so I'm going to fix it to portrait mode here so that you can't look at this um, sideways if you see what I mean and now let's look at that and there is my um, my image and I might also change the um, the title of this image here which is currently set to note squirrel and that's in strings.xml so I've got this title activity image and I could change that to password image or pass maybe pass points image because it's not a password it's going to be the idea is that you're going to touch certain points on this image and then it will let you in to your note so that's it for this tutorial and until next time happy coding